Hello everybody, how's everyone doing today on this beautiful Sunday? I hope everybody's enjoying their day. And I know it's Sunday, which makes tomorrow Monday, which is never a good day of the week. But, at least you're getting to enjoy today, right? Okay, so today's video, I thought I would do a review on two of the products that I have been using for about a week now. Um, if you watch, um, I think either the last video or the video before that, I showed you a couple of items that I got at the beauty supply store. And, um, as you know, I got a foundation and I got a setting powder. They are both from Ruby Kisses. Okay, let me see this. The foundation is, uh, called No More Blemish Liquid Foundation. It's oil free and it's all day wear. And the setting powder from Ruby Kisses is the HD Set and Forget Setting Powder, 16 hour, um, flawless rub proof wear. Okay. So I'm actually wearing this product today, but not this one. So let's go ahead and get started on this product right here, my review for this. Um, let me like pan you out a little bit. I feel like I'm like too close. Okay. That's better. Okay, so I picked this up at my, um, one of the, um, beauty supply stores that I have here in town. We are lucky enough to have three, which is awesome. And I got it for $4.99, which is a great price for a foundation. Um, do I wish it was bigger? Well, kinda. You know what I mean? Because there are foundations like the Maybelline, um, what is the one? The, the Maybelline Fit Me, which is about the same price, and it's probably like double that size, double the amount. But, you know, it's still a good amount of product, I guess, considering, um, well, let me just get started on the review, okay? So, this is the Semi-Matte Finish Foundation, and it's long-lasting wear, okay? And it has a squeeze bottle, okay, which is what I like about this. So I can really control the amount of product that I put on my hand or whatever just by squeezing it out. So that is a plus right here. Now to the negatives, okay. I do love Ruby Kisses products. I have a few. I have like eyeliners, lip liners, setting powders, um, things like that. They do have good products. This, unfortunately, is the only foundation product I have ever purchased from Ruby Kisses. And I am so not a fan whatsoever of this product, okay? Number one, the first thing, the first issue that I have with this product is the smell, okay? It has a very strong chemical smell that reminds me of another product that I've owned, and I honestly just cannot remember what product it was, but it is a very strong chemical makeup kind of smell to it, which completely turns me off. I can't stand it. While it does disappear after a few seconds of you putting it on your skin, but still, you know, um, yeah, the smell, I can't even tell you the smell. It is, it is not good. And number two, as far as the coverage, I felt like it was a very, very light coverage, in my opinion. And I did apply this. I did two applications of this during the week. Um, one day I even did three applications just to see if I could build it up to at least a, like a full medium coverage. And it just did not happen, okay? It is a very watery-based foundation, in my opinion. Um, I kind of feel like foundations should have a bit of a body to it. You know what I mean? Um, so the, the, the formula and the, just the feel of the foundation just, you know, kind of tipped me off. Like, okay, this is not going to be a full coverage. I might be able to get like a light medium coverage possibly, but even that really didn't happen. It just did not cover any dark circles, any dark spots. It did not cover anything in my opinion. It felt, um, now I know it says oil free. It kind of felt like it was an oily product or like a slightly silicone feel kind of product to it. That is what it felt like to me. 
with it being so light and so and oil free i assumed it was going to feel more like water and that just wasn't the case at all it is it definitely has an oily silicone kind of feel to it and it really does not give me personally the coverage um that I was hoping for. Here it is fall and it's going to start getting cooler, which means I can now start wearing my foundations. I don't have to worry about it sweating off in the summer, things like that. And I was really hoping this was going to do that and it just did not achieve it for me at all, okay? Now this is just my opinion, okay? I bought these products with my own money. They were not sent to me. Um, whatsoever. I'm not getting paid to do this video, paid to review any of these products. That is not the case at all. They were purchased by my personal money. And I'm just not a fan of this product at all whatsoever. So this will definitely be going in like my declutter box that I have been filling up for the last couple of weeks. I have a huge box. So yeah, unfortunately I will be adding this product to that box as well, which is a bummer. And I would return it, but here at the beauty stores, once you buy something, you own it. So, you know, I'm kind of bummed about that, but it's a risk that you take, you know, going to those stores. Unfortunately, they didn't have this as a sample that I could test out, and I really wish they did because I probably wouldn't have purchased um, the product once I saw what it felt like and um, the smell. I never would have bought it. But anyway, yeah, that's a bummer. So that's going in the box right there. Now on to the HD Set and Forget setting powder. This is the banana powder, okay? I purchased this for $5.99, still a great price. I'm just going to show it for you because it's in white. And I've got the sun coming towards me, um, which is a good price, you know. Now we all know I am like a diehard fan of my Airspun. I love my Airspun. I use it all the time, okay? But one thing I've noticed with Airspun is that you really have to pay attention to making sure that, number one, you don't put too much of it on, in, in my case anyway. And number two, that um, you make sure that it blends into your skin or you get it off your skin fully. Otherwise, you are going to have a slight, you know, white ghost look thing going on, okay? Now, with the set and forget, all right? I did a slight glam kind of look today, okay, with the smoky eye and all that, because I wanted to, um, I didn't want to, I, will, I did test it a few times, just lightly, every day kind of a look, but I really wanted to test it out in a glam look, you know what I mean? So, it is banana, it's the banana powder, okay, which I've heard great things from women about banana powder. They, a lot of African American women I've seen in videos prefer a banana powder for a setting powder than they did any translucent or white, um, shade of powder. And so I thought I would check it out. So luckily I saw this when I was at the beauty supply store. And as you can see, oh, I don't want to show you that way. As you can see, it has a yellow shade to it, hence banana powder. No smell whatsoever. I don't smell anything whatsoever. And it is a very fine, sort of like, I want to say baby powder, but it, it feels even more fine than that, to be honest with you. It feels nice and light. It's not heavy. And as you can see, it does not leave any ghost effect or white flashback or whatever that's called on your face and i apologize for the lighting guys but the sun is kind of getting ready to go down a bit so um i should have done this video earlier but i was busy cleaning and everything today but um back to the product i did use it i am a big fan of it it does not feel heavy whatsoever um I noticed that I really didn't have to work at getting it off my skin once I was done setting. I just lightly brushed it off and that was good enough for me. It worked great. Um, it does a pretty good job at hiding those dark circles that I have under here all the time, um, especially if I'm not feeling well, they're even worse. So I think it did a pretty good job of doing that as well it did a not a bad job of setting the makeup under my eyes as you can see but i kind of feel a little spot here and there maybe a little cakey which you see what i mean it's a bit 
cakey under the eye. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but I can definitely see it. It's a bit cakey here and this area right here. So, I mean, it didn't do that any other time that I used this product. I am using a different foundation. I am using a um, Sephora foundation, and I'm wondering if the combination of the two is causing this. Um, I use the same um, uh, blah, 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 concealer that I would always use. So I'm wondering if it's a combination of the two that's kind of giving me a cakey look, maybe. I don't know. I hope you guys can see that right in this area. It's a bit on the cakey side. Okay. Now, as far as the rest of the face goes, I do like it. I do like it down the nose, on the forehead a little bit, anywhere that you would sort of highlight. And, okay, this lighting is kind of getting on my nerves. It's kind of getting a little dark in here. Woo! You can see me now, can't you? Yeah, I think I'll put it back. Oh, well. Don't worry. I will be doing more videos outside on the porch starting tomorrow because the weather is supposed to be a little bit cooler this week than it's been the past week. So the lighting will be better for you guys. I apologize. But, um, you know, if you guys are looking for banana powder to try out, I would suggest getting the Ruby Kisses one. Um because it is good you know it, today not so much but i honestly think that's probably either the foundation or the concealer just a combination of it of the two um i'm hoping you know what i mean but as far as the rest of the face i i really do like it i'm i'm a i'm not gonna say i'm a huge fan i'm not there yet i'm still i still love my airspun that is like my go-to ride or die setting powder product but I could definitely see me picking this up every now and then and using it. Maybe not every day until I figure out what that issue is there. If you guys don't see anything, let me know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just the camera that's making it look that way. Maybe. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think, okay? So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. And I'm sorry if I'm like rumbling or talking fast again. I apologize. Um, but tomorrow's video, <clears throat> you guys may not see it tomorrow, but I do have another video coming up. Well, a few videos, actually. All of them are going to be reviews because I did buy quite a few products from Ruby Kisses. Now, can we just say, look at these lips, the color brown, right? What do you guys think? Because I have been looking for just a brown, affordable brown lipstick, okay? Just brown. I didn't want any sort of type undertone. I didn't want, you know, a, a red undertone or this undertone. I just wanted brown and I wanted matte. So I'm actually using a lipstick by Ruby Kisses. This is the matte lipstick. This one right here. Okay. And the shade is in spicy brown. So that is what I'm wearing. And these go for $2.99 at my beauty supply store, actually at all the beauty supply stores here in the area. They go for $2.99, which is a good price. And actually, I do like the feel of it, even though it's matte. When you press your lips together, it kind of feels like a satin sort of finish. But it's not. When you look at it, there's no shine to it. It is matte, but it's not drying. I actually wore a different color in the same product yesterday, and I had it on for eight hours before I realized that I actually didn't even apply chapstick to my lips once whatsoever. So it's really moisturizing. It feels nice. It doesn't feel like it is completely drying my lips out, which is a problem I have with a lot of matte lipsticks, which is why I wear a lot of satin lipsticks. But I don't have that with this one. This is actually really, really good. So let me know what you guys think of the color. Okay? Yay, nang, eh. All right? Let me know what you think of the eyes. If you like it, I will do a video um, for you and show you the look. I basically achieved this look using my Nika K palette. My 23 color, I think it's called. Let me see. My Perfect 23 Nika K palette, okay? So that is how I achieved today's look with these gorgeous colors right here in this palette, okay? Now, this palette goes for $5.99 or so in, at my 
beauty supply store, but I do have a subscriber that was telling me that she was able to find the same palette because she had watched a video of me holding up, um, using the palette. And so she had found the same product at her beauty supply store for $4.99. So it really just depends on where you live. If you don't have a beauty supply store, you can go online and order this. It's at NikaK.com um, or NikaKNewYork.com. One of those, but it's N I C K A space K, Nika K. All right, so if you want to look it up and you're looking for an affordable fall palette, this might be the one you want. It's beautiful, they're all mattes, they're super pigmented. You guys will love this palette, okay? All right, guys, um, until I see you next time, peace and God bless. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, okay? Try to enjoy tomorrow, which is Monday, which no one ever enjoys. <laughs> and until I see you next time, peace and God bless. Bye-bye.